Jan Mohammed Khan was thought to be an untouchable among Afghanistan's political elite. But the Taliban says they managed to get to the Afghan strongman, killing him in his home. An Afghan MP, Hashim Watanwal, was also killed in the attack, as were the attackers in the ensuing gun battle with police. As a former advisor on tribal affairs to President Hamid Karzai, he was a powerful figure. But it was his governorship of the southern Uruzgan province that was the most controversial. For four years until 2006, he ran the province. Allegations of his links to drug rings earned him many detractors. He was a, a thuggish uh, figure and he really created a lot of enemies for himself. He really was bad-mouthing, uh, you know, uh, well-known people in the province, uh, in other area, and, uh, you know, uh, and this is not something which uh, is very much uh, uh, appreciated in the Afghan culture. He was eventually removed at the insistence of Dutch army officials performing security operations in the province. But President Karzai's controversial ally resurfaced as a regular feature of Afghan politics. The brazen killings come as the final countdown begins for foreign troop withdrawal from Afghanistan. This handover by New Zealand troops to Afghan police took place in secret, amid fears the ceremony would be attacked. The handover process, many fear, could be a bloody one. Khadija Magadi, Al Jazeera, 